With a project like Starship, you're bound to leak secrets, as many people are interested. And a similar thing happened recently when we received the status of 33 engines on Booster 7 for the first time, following the record-breaking engine test, the most powerful static burn in rocket history. Today we'll be talking about 33 Raptor engines leaked images after the big static fire test. That's not all, as we will also talk about the SpaceX upgrades in regard to the OLM for the orbital launch. You must be wondering how these images got leaked. What can we learn from them? How did SpaceX upgrade the OLM? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we delve into the details behind these recent proceedings. Without further ado, let us begin. We recently received the status of all 33 engines on Booster 7 for the first time following the record-breaking engine test, the most potent static burn in rocketry history. Yeah, you heard that right folks, the recent static fire test at SpaceX has recently sent the internet into a frenzy. If you're all confused as to what a static fire test is, a static fire test is a type of test conducted on a rocket engine or a spacecraft's thrusters before a launch to ensure that they are functioning correctly. In this test, the engine is attached to a test stand and the fuel and oxidizer are loaded into the engine's tanks. The engine is then fired for a short period, usually a few seconds to a few minutes, while the rocket or spacecraft remains stationary. Now, you must be wondering, what is checked in those few minutes of blasting the engine? Well, it ticks the boxes on a lot of things, as the purpose of the static fire test is to verify that the engine's systems are working correctly. It checks the boxes on the fuel and oxidizer delivery systems, the ignition system, and the engine's thrust control. The test also provides data on the engine's performance, such as its thrust, specific impulse, and fuel consumption. As you can see, the static fire test is a critical step in the launch preparation process, and it is typically conducted several days or weeks before the launch. The results of the test are carefully analyzed by the launch team to ensure that the rocket or spacecraft is ready for flight. Elon Musk aims to go to Mars one day, and to do that, he needs to have really strong engines which can provide ample thrust and power for the rocket to reach that far. Hence, the Raptor engines were created. But installing so much power in an engine has its issues. Since a lot of power is generated, a lot of heat and thrust are released, which can result in adverse situations. Previous static fire tests have revealed that the insane amount of fire and heat can cause rocket damage. Hence, SpaceX was looking for ways to control it. So much power, so much responsibility. Now let us talk about the leak that has led us to believe that SpaceX is making big moves in its quest to perfect the Raptor engines. Sincere gratitude to Kevin Randolph for taking the pictures. No indications that any had been replaced since last week's static fire test, he tweeted. Thanks to his leaks and information, we have been able to understand the proceedings over at SpaceX. So a big thanks to you, Kevin. Good looking. Now let us talk about what Kevin's leaks have told us. As you can see, Raptors are identified by their position and have their coverings removed. It clearly shows that work is going on them. If all these engines could work with the B-7 in the future, it would be fantastic. It would basically mean that SpaceX has perfected the engine and they will be almost ready to make the Mars flight. But for now, things still need changing. I would anticipate that they will repair at least the two problematic engines one of which was manually turned off just before the static fire, while the other malfunctioned engine shut down on its own as it tried to ignite. So yeah folks, issues still exist. I guess they turned off one engine to gain control of the fire and heat released. The other faulty engine will need fixing, but still, looking at the bright side, this static fire is still a great improvement from the past. The leaks from Kevin do not end there. Besides the Raptor engines, you can also see that SpaceX currently has a group of Raptors in Tent 1. These are ready to use, and every time Booster 7 is ready for a test, they are prepared to be used. But leaks and other information sources suggest that right now, B7 is still being worked on, and a new hydraulic power unit is being installed. You must be wondering what this is. Well, this supplies hydraulic pressure for the thrust vector control and engine gimbal systems. 
But things won't stop here. These hydraulic power units will eventually be replaced by electronic thruster vector control systems. With so many planned changes, things are surely exciting at SpaceX in the times ahead. Lastly, let us talk about the Orbital Launch Mount and its planned upgrades. The Orbital Launch Mount, also known as the Launch Platform or Launch Pad, is the structure on the ground used for launching rockets or spacecraft into orbit. It typically consists of a large, flat platform made of reinforced concrete, steel, or other materials capable of supporting the weight of the rocket or spacecraft. And all that heat! You must be wondering, how can it get upgraded? Well, since it is typically equipped with various safety features, such as flame trenches, water suppression systems, and lighting protection to protect the vehicle and launch personnel from potential hazards during the launch process. These will surely be upgraded to cater to the increased heat energy released by the new and improved Raptor engines. In the end, I would just like to say that at the rate SpaceX is working in improving its technology, it will soon start to achieve its long-term goals. And with Elon Musk not getting any younger, they have a small time frame, but looking at their progress, my guess is they will surely manage to do everything in time, fingers crossed, and let's see what the future holds for them. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new video from us. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like and leave a comment. And if you have any suggestions or requests, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.